Sports brings you the NBA on a Friday afternoon. Happy to be with you with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. This is Kevin Harlan. Now let's check out the State Farm starting lineup. First for the Lakers, Fisher and Kobe man the backcourt. And they've got Andrew Bynum, the big man, all in the middle. He's a big part of that presence down low. Then there's our test, and it's Gasol and at the four spot. Looking at the Bulls, Rose is flanked by Bogans in the backcourt. And they've got Joe Kim Noah, the big man at the center. A terrific presence on the low block. One of the best. Then it's Dang, and it's Boozer in at the fourth. Now the Bulls had to battle some injuries last year, but it didn't slow them down one bit in their rampage through the East. Carlos Boozer missed time early. Joe Kim Noah missed a large chunk of the season as well, but it didn't slow them down. Going to be the Bulls off the tip. Now Rose. Outside Boozer. Gasol covering. From deep, Rose. No good. And the Lakers go with it the other way. Stevie talked about the injuries. Boozer, Clark, uh, you come to expect it a bit with the Bulls, uh, but they didn't miss a beat. They had the depth to make up for it. I mean, Boozer's injury clearly was a problem, but then Noah was out for a while as well, and they really missed his length and activity, particularly on defense and on the boards. Could you imagine their record if they had stayed healthy all year? Wow. They'd probably been close to that 70 mark. Absolutely. You're right. How about the determination right there on that putback? Here is Rose. Earlier, Doris Burke spoke with head coach Mike Brown. And uh, what'd you find out, Doris? Well, he didn't budge the fact that this is a defense that can strike fear into the hearts of opponents. While he knows it won't be an easy task to overcome, he feels his team is prepared to do what they need to do to succeed. He said, we know what we're up against. I don't think they know what we bring to the table. Sounds confident enough, guys. Terrific, Doris. Thanks. They put a lot of thought into how they're going to match up against the opposing defense guys. Well, one of the things you got to do here, Kevin, I mean, and Steve, you can't afford empty possessions against this team. You've got to put the ball in the basket. Yeah, that's for sure, Clark. You got to make them count because you know you're not going to get a lot of open looks. So make sure you make the defense move, uh, move the ball, try to get good looks, and make them pick. Lock at six. And Gasol comes to help. Deflected. Kobe with the steal. You've got to be sure that you can get it there in time and crisply. And again, it's the Lakers. And Kobe Bryant, along with Carmelo Anthony, I think are the two most complete scorers in this league. They can find a way to get the ball in the basket from so many different ways. Noah kicks to Boozer. He's up against Gasol. He gathers. Boozer gets the bucket. Boozer's got his first points in this one. His footwork in the low post is tremendous, almost ballerina-like. Stevie talked about Kobe's offensive virtuosity. You can Google that name if you want to out there. You know, you name most any way that exists to put the ball in the bucket. I think he's mastered. I, I, I don't think there's a shot that's been made that he hasn't done and done well. Well, he's a master scorer. I mean, that's how you would title him, and that includes every way, but it's the footwork. We talk about the basics, the little things, great anticipation offensively, and he's always in aggressive mode and with his physical ability and the fundamentals master. He's special. I like what you said about the footwork. There's a great story about when Kobe and LeBron got together for an all-star game or one of their USA teams over the past, you know, five, six years. And the, the knock on LeBron had always been that he really didn't pay attention to details. He kind of shot and wasn't 
there was no pattern to his practice, mm -hmm. individual practice habits. And he watched Kobe, and he learned from that. And now LeBron is the one teaching younger players. Isn't that something? Yeah, that's it's exactly handed down. how it should be. Yeah. Dang passes to Rose. Six to shoot. He's covered by Fisher. With one on the clock, Rose gets the bucket. Great work. I mean, you have to decide as a defense, just how much damage are we going to allow him to do? Kobe dishes to Gasol. Our test. Comes up empty down in the post. Well, last time Mike Brown coached in the NBA was with the 2010 Cavaliers. LeBron James was last year with Cleveland. And Mike Brown had a pretty good record with the Cavs. He even won Coach of the Year in 2009. A splendid pass that time by Rowe. And here's Los Angeles. Outside Gasol. Boozer picks him up. Fisher kicks to Kobe. The pass to Bynum. Back to Kobe. Over Noah. Can't hit. Great defense that time from Noah. We're getting back to Brown for just a second. Clark, a couple of 60-win teams under his watch, while in Cleveland, of course, LeBron James is there with him. Yeah, exactly, and that bodes well going forward. Unfortunately, he was not able to translate those 60-win seasons into a championship, but there are a lot of factors that come into winning a championship. Um, I don't think you can disparage Mike Brown at all because he did a terrific job in getting those teams to the level he got them to, and that experience will serve him well as he tries to help the Lakers win another championship. Here's Rose, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Rose is such a He's an unbelievably strong finisher at the rim. His explosiveness and his leaping ability and his strength in the air makes it almost unfair when you're trying to deal with that guy, especially if he's got a head of steam coming at you. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Clark, you nailed it about Rose. He contorts so much while airborne, but Steve always stays in control. Well, coaches talk about the launching pad. When you let Derrick Rose get to that launching pad, he gets ahead of steam and goes off of two feet in the lane. Uh, forget about it. He's so strong and so athletic and just a powerful finisher for a point guard. And Rose drops them both. When you talk about that great front court depth for the Lakers, all that length, rebounding, their ability to really crash the glass. And they were actually the fifth best rebounding team in the NBA last year in terms of rebounding differential. It's a pick by Bynum. They double team Kobe. Blake up top. He's covered by Rose to stop the run. And Kobe the bucket with the assist by Blake. Six points for Kobe Bryant. And Steve, you were talking about that differential. Two and a half extra possessions in their favor because of it. And, and Clark, for the Lakers, already a very good team offense. With that rebounding advantage, those extra possessions, more often than not, lead to a basket. Well, they've got such tremendous size. When you look at Pau Gasol and Andrew Bynum, you throw in Lamar Odom. I mean, those guys are long, really good rebounders at both ends, but particularly on the offensive glass. And, you know, anytime you get an offensive rebound, usually those defense the defenders are scrambled, and you're going to be able to get a high-quality shot. Well, he had to fade away there. The defense was all over him, and he got it off. Just couldn't get it to go. Upside Rose. Here's Dang, and it's blocked. So it's the Lakers now. From six feet, it's hauled in by Noah. Here's Chicago. Let's go. And the dunk by Boozer. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles.
Here's Kobe. He's got six. Right side Gasol. He passes to Barnes. Back to Gasol. This is to Blake. Shot clock at six. And Rose picks him up defensively. From deep. And Kobe the bucket with the assist by Blake. Nine points for Kobe Bryant. Yeah, they're finding the open man. Unselfish play. I like it. Yeah, I love it too. Teamwork and evidence there, right on full display. A big percentage, a high percentage of their basket have come off assists. Here is Rose. Fires from deep. That's good. Rose has got seven. Fellas, they are heating up from outside now. Yep, of their last five hoops, three of them have come from long range. Kobe kicks the Bynum. Nice move. And that's two points on the layup. And that makes it a tie ball game. Guys back and forth this first half. Well, five lead changes early on, guys, as we grapple back and forth. <laughs> this could be a, a back and forth game all the way, guys, the way it's being played. This is fun to watch. And Boozer backs in. Carlos Boozer signed that big free agent contract with Chicago before last season and then broke his hand before the year even started. But, but he came back, got healthy, and became a strong presence, and the Bulls had a great season. And the first one at the line is good. Ashik has checked in for the Bulls. The Lakers also changing it up. Odom comes in for Pau Gasol. And it's Brown in for Kobe. No good on the second free throw. The Lakers trail. And here's the fast break. Barnes kicks to Blake. Line him up top. Great ball movement. Jacks up a three. And Shannon Brown, the bucket on the assist from Andrew Bynum. Brown's got his first three points of the game. You know, just to follow up on what you said there, Steve, I mean, injuries have been an issue for Boozer over his career. I mean, he gives the Bulls a, a low post presence, and they've needed that for years, so I think it can be a good fit for him. Outside down. Lake with the steal. Nice swipe there. You can see his eyes get wide open when he saw the opportunity to take the ball. Here comes Rose. He's got seven and taken away by Brown. Covered by Brewer. Blake with it. Six on the shot clock. Bynum. Backs him down. And there's another one for the Lakers. You know, it is really hard to miss shots that close to the basket. Bulls trail by four. Rose passes to Brewer. Back to Rose. Guarded by Blake. Goes up. Rose, no good. After coming over from the Celtics, Tom Thibodeau has really brought his brand of defense over to the Bulls. I mean, you've seen it. Hard to argue with the result. He was just what the Bulls were looking for in a new head coach. And Bynum backing in. Three-pointer. That's good for Modem on the assist from Andrew Bynum. And it's a seven-point Laker lead. When you see the turnaround, Clark, that Thibodeau brought to Chicago. <laughs>
gives it up. Watson. And they're scoring pretty well as we conclude the first quarter. Lakers lead by nine. Boy, the offense has been so smooth. Everybody working together. And you can tell they're getting good shots pretty much every time down. Yeah, they're a well-oiled machine there. I mean, they keep the ball moving. They keep themselves moving. And as a result, they're piling up the points. And we'll get back to the action right after this. back it's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway here's Fisher nine point game okay well let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game Doris take it away guys Kobe Bryant becomes the youngest player in NBA history to score 27,000 points edging out Wilt Chamberlain and one of just a list of NBA records to his name but asked about the records he said I don't know about them until they come up when I'm older and I'm like 70 years old or something like that maybe then I'll get a little more sentimental but right now I just want to win guys if you think Kobe Bryant is done with that you've got another thing coming yeah championship mentality Doris good point thanks gets it to go Gasol's got the first points up on the board here in the second quarter for the Lakers and here's Watson he's covered by Fisher shoots from the line Watson's shot is good here's Fisher nine point game Brown outside. Pass to Odom. Noah picks him up. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. You know, when Lamar Odom came into the league, a lot of people thought he could be a franchise player. He never really became that type of guy, but he, he's the perfect wingman for Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol. Kind of a, a Scottie Pippen type uh, floor leader ball distributor and an excellent all-around player and that one falls for Odom Steve just talked about Odom as a wing it seems to be the role he's much more comfortable with too yeah I think he likes just being a basketball player he doesn't have the pressure to score night in and night out at a frantic pace which I think helps him and his team because he can be a little streaky in that regard um, but the role he has as being a basketball player with versatility that can do a lot of things that's what he's best suited for Lakers leading by 12. Now Fisher. Tipped. Lock at six. With the clock winding down, and the Lakers tack on two more. Here is Watson. Here's Noah. Defended by Gasol. Here is Corver. He's covered by Brown. Corver, a shot fake there, got the D out of position. Guys, you're not going to get away with that kind of defense when he's got the ball. I mean, you got to do better than that. Outside Gasol. Offside Gasol. He goes up. No good. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Well, they are getting out rebounded here, and it's showing up on the scoreboard as well. Yeah, it's something they're going to have to improve upon if they're going to win this game. Watson dishes to Bogans. Watson up top. Bunny shot. Takes the three. Bogans can't get it to go. You know, even though he missed that three-point shot, I think the defense has to do a better job of challenging the shots. Yeah, because you know if you continue to give up open looks like that, uh, you're in big trouble. Chicago calls timeout. And obviously, Coach doesn't want them giving up all these inside buckets. They need to do a better job of moving their feet, staying in their stance, and keeping their man in front of them. 
CJ Watson. Kobe is checked in for the Lakers. Here's Rose. He's got 10. Guarded by Odom. Rose kicks to Bogan. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Rose has got three assists in the game. Well, you know, a recent stat said that in the last 15 years, the Lakers are on average the best offense in the NBA. But in crunch time, ironically, they fall to around 12th best offensively. Not nearly as effective. Clark, going back to the Lakers and their letdown as far as crunch time offense goes. Good point by you. Steve, you take it now. Why do you think that's so? Well, I think Kobe's not the player that he once was, Kevin. I mean, he, he's not as athletic. He's not um, as capable as he used to be getting shots off uh, against any type of defense. And uh, I think the rest of the guys maybe lost a little confidence in themselves as a result. He hits both from the stripe. And one of the things you like about the Lakers, their ability to go out on the road and win. In fact, last season... They were 27 and 14 away from Staples Center. Oh, up and down hard. A monster throwdown. Wow. Boom. That's worthy of a standing O for that one. He's getting a standing O. You got to get up for that. I'm up. I'm up. Hey, yeah, you know, he does deserve a little special treatment for that one. Fellas, fellas, just sit down. Let's leave it to the fans, all right? Settle down. Outside Gasol. Right through the D for the layup. Gasol's got eight points. Yeah, points in the paint have been a huge factor here for them. Steve looking to take it inside and go up strong. That's a remedy for success. Outside Rose. He's covered by Fisher. Bogans passes to Corbin. Noah against Gasol. Here is Bogan. He has six. Nice job coming off that screen. Bogan's got five points now in the quarter. Gibson against Odom. The feet to Gasol. Just five on the clock. From deep three-point range. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. Bulls trail by 11. Rose kicks to Corver. He kicks it to Noah. Gasol covering. Noah with a screen on Kobe. Come on, man.
team really kind of personifies uh, what this city is about. They're blue collar, they're tough, uh, they're defensive minded, and that's why these fans in Chicago have fallen in love with this team. Seems like that finger roll just comes naturally to him. Great touch. You know, for Barnes, really a tough, aggressive player. Clark, he doesn't back down from anybody. Not at all. You're going to know he's out there when you're on the court with him. He battles for every week. He's an excellent rebounder for a guy of his size and gives you an awful lot of hustle and the edge that winning teams usually have. Rose can't hit. Now, unfortunately, he just has not been able to produce offensively to this point. And it's sent back by Noah. The Bulls trail by nine. Rose with the ball. 12 points for him. He's covered by Fisher. Shot clock at five. Kobe against Dang. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. That's seven points for Luol Dang. Look at their scoring. Mid-range jumpers account for six of their last ten points. Well, defensively, they're doing a nice job of keeping them out of the paint, but you got to give them credit. They're knocking down shots. Right up. Chicago grabs the miss. Noah's got six rebounds now in the game. And here's Rose. Back to Noah. Leads him in there. Pushes up. And it's Rose. This time the assist by Noah. And now it's only a five-point Laker lead. Now Kobe. Here's Fisher. Back to Kobe. Covered by Brewer. Now here's Bynum over Noah. Bynum missing again. You know, this is a shot that we've seen him miss, but actually the coaches would like to see him not miss as many. Rose kicks to Boozer. I got him. I got him. Picked up by our test. Boozer can't get it to go. Lakers leading by five. You know, seeing the Bulls here, they were just absolutely terrific against the Western Conference last year, and I don't think that should be a surprise at all. And the basket good. He's looking to have a big game. He did a solid job in the first, and he's building on that now here in the second. Time called here, and the Bulls decide to talk it over. Like you mentioned the Bulls in the West, Steve. They were 23 and 7 against the conference. Very good number. That was the best mark of any team in the East. Three more wins than the Heat, who came in second with 20. Comes in for Joaquin Noah. And it's Watson in for Derrick Rose. Pau Gasol has checked in for the Lakers. Blake comes in for Derrick Fisher. Here is Watson. A minute 50 left to play in the first half. Kobe with the steal. What a steal. That's some excellent defense right there. Barnes dishes to Blake. Barnes kicks to Kobe. He dishes it to Gasol over Brewer. And there's Kobe. That's good on the assist by Gasol. Gasol's got his fourth assist in this one. Watson with it. And Gasol comes to help. Now here's Brewer. He's guarded closely. Shoots over Kobe. Brewer, good. Brewer's got his first two points. Yeah, they are just lighting him up from mid-range area. You know, sometimes we forget about the value of the mid-range or in-between game. 
This team has made eight of their last ten with that shot, the in-between shot. Shot clock at six. With one on the clock. And Luol Deng pulls it down. Deng's got four rebounds in this game. And here's Watson. He feeds it to Boozer. There's the pass to Brewer. The jump hook. And it's Boozer that time in the assist by Brewer. And now it's only a five-point Laker lead. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, it makes it tough for the defense to chase that ball around when it moves that crisply all over the court. Yeah, it sure does, Clark. And look at the assist totals. They're piling up. I mean, this has been a, a nice game execution-wise for this club. For three, what an amazing buzzer beater. Boy, how about that? You want to talk about cool? How about cool, calm customers? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you what, a split second later, guys, and it's a totally different result here. What a shot. That'll do it for the first half. Lakers on top, leading by eight. And it's HP at the half with an excellent game going on out at United Center. The Los Angeles Lakers in front against Chicago. They're keeping the ball hopping around, racking up those assists. A superstar display by Kobe Bryant. He's now up to 20 points and has picked up a few steals, rounding out his box score. And the Bulls going all out. This is a disciplined team, and when it comes to boxing out, controlling the backboard with fundamental play, we've seen it so far. A great performance by Derrick Rose in the first half. He's up to 14 points, and as usual, he's been handing out a lot of assists. Some great basketball in today's game from these two. They've carried the scoring load so far. And back to the United Center we go. The third quarter just about to start. And now the third quarter about to get going. Here's Fisher. Gasol passes to our test. They're moving the ball. Fisher dishes to Kobe. Outside for Gasol. Six to shoot. Shoots over Bogans. Shot is no good. Our Chicago takes it the other way. And when you ask anybody what sets Kobe apart as a player, more than anything else, they'll say it's his competitiveness. In fact, Lamar Odom, his teammate, said he's the most competitive player he's ever played with. And that one's good, Boozer. Second chance is such a huge part of his game. He's really good on the offensive glass. Now Fisher outside Kobe. Good luck. Gets it to go. Kobe's got 22 points. You know, Steve, when you talk about Kobe's competitive drive, it's one thing to compete on the court. But that drive, that competitive drive, Clark, also is what's driven him to develop his game off the floor. And that's where the work really takes place, Kevin. I mean, the games are the fun part. It's the work that you put into it that allows you to perform at your highest level. And that's a big reason the Lakers have been so successful in his time with the team. I mean, when your best player is also your hardest working player, we hear that all the time, but it's I true. Know it. I it's know a it. fact. It's reality. Everyone on the team has to step it up or look like a slacker yeah. or a slugger. And that's not going to fly, particularly with a franchise like the Lakers. Have you ever, and you've played athletics all your life, have you ever been around a great athlete who wasn't the hardest worker on any team at any level? No, you wouldn't be. You would see tremendous talent, not realize its potential, but the ones that get the most out of their God-given ability, not only are they gifted, but they also really work at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just one for four here in the third quarter, so very slow start for this club. That is good. And it's a 12-point Laker lead. He's put on an offensive clinic. They've got to deny him the ball. Yeah, and if that fails, then double him, Steve. I mean, they can't allow him to continue to hurt him like this. Upside Rose. He's covered by Fisher. And it's Rose missing. Well, that's a lot of bricks by them early in the second. Only one make on five tries so far in the second half. 
Bynum kicks to our test. Outside Gasol. Boozer picks him up. It's stolen by Dang. Oops. You got to watch it if you bring the ball down when you're on the low block. Great job taking that one all the way to the hoop. Yeah. This time, the assist from Rose. Rose has got five assists in the game. Lakers leading by eight. Stolen by Bogans. He's covered by Fisher. He passes to Rose. Back to Boozer. Guarded now by Andrew Bynum. Lock at six. With the clock winding down. Rebound the Lakers. They've led by as many as 14 points. Fisher, the pass to Kobe. Dishes it to Fisher. A three ball. Good. Fisher's got seven. Simply said, it's going to take a much better effort than that, son, on a shooter like him. Now Bogans. Eight points for him. Fades. Shot is off. Some solid D here from Bynum. Rose against Fisher. And Kobe the bucket with the assist from Derek Fisher. Kobe's got eight points in the quarter. You know, he's given them a nice scoring option through most of this game. Rose kicks to Bogan. Picked up by Kobe. Now Bogans passes it to Dan. Covered by our test. The Bulls need to get a shot off here. There's Rose with the three. And the shot is good. Rose has got 17 now. Lakers leading by 10. Gasol dishes to our test. He's picked up by Dan. Fisher, the pass to Kobe. Bogan gets called for the reach. That's his first foul. Some changes for the Lakers. Matt Barnes has checked in for our test. And Steve Blake is subbed in for Derek Fisher. Matt Barnes. Steve Blake. Here's Blake. And Rose picks him up defensively. And here's Kobe from the arc. Yes, and it's Blake picking up the assist. 31 points for Kobe Bryant. Outside Dang. Feeds to Boozer. He's up against Gasol. Kicks it to Noah. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. 
But it's amazing watching Noah's shot. It's so unorthodox the way he kind of spins it off the side of his hand. The ball almost has side spin on it, uh, but it's effective. I mean, it's, he's not a guy who you can just leave alone out there defensively. He can make a shot. good on the free throw. Steve was talking about Noah's shot in Clark. I know you've talked about it too. What, what did they call it or what did I hear him say? It was called the tornado? Or yeah, I'd something? like to call it a globe <laughs> on its axis. The way it spins sideways. But yeah. you know what? It's um, unorthodox. It's not textbook. It works. But right? it is effective. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. It's kind of like your golf swing. You're, you're all over the place on the back swing and coming down. But it impact, Kevin. You're right where you need to be, and that's what that's what makes the difference. Right. Where are you at impact? You talking about my backswing or just anybody's backswing? I'm I was actually talking about yours. Oh, I appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Backing down is Bryant. Can't get it to go, so the Bulls will take it the other way. Mark, they're looking now at a sizable deficit. Yeah, you know, they've got a lot of work ahead of them, but no reason to give up hope right now. No, the game's still out there for them, but they've got to get back to their game plan and start to grind out each possession. Covered by Brewer. A 10-footer, and there's another one for the Lakers. He has so much offensive imagination. Always seems like he's ready to try something new. Here's Noah. He's got seven. Boozer kicks to Rose. On the wing, Brewer. Shot clock at six. And in he goes for the easy two. That's four of their last five buckets now coming in the paint area. They're in attack mode right now, barreling in there with bad man intentions. Well, Chicago really established its home record last year at the United Center. In fact, they finished with the best record at home in the Eastern Conference. That was one of the big reasons why they were the number one overall seed in the playoffs. Outside Rose. Boozer against Gasol. Gasol against Boozer. A fadeaway. And it's going to be a 24 second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Here's Blake. Now here's Gasol. It's stolen by Dang. It's in. Tens got 11 points. You mentioned the Bulls, Steve, tied the other number one seed, the Spurs, for the best home record in the entire league. Boy, those were two great teams in the regular year, Clark. They certainly were. 36 wins and 41 tries. Just what you'd expect from a team that was so dominant at home like the Bulls were. Six on the shot clock. 
Here's Blake. Rebounded by Rose. Rose has got three rebounds so far in the game. Blake with the steal. Lakers leading by 10. He's covered by Rose. Outside, Kobe. Six to shoot. A 10-footer. Blake misses. So far, we've seen them be a bit careless with the ball. Guys, untidy. You've got to value the possession of the basketball. I know you agree with that, Steve. Oh, no, totally. You've got to play with control and composure, Kevin. Oh, he misses that one. He did knock down one three-pointer in the first half, though. Outside, Kobe from the arc gets the bucket. Kobe's got 38 points. He is not the guy you want to leave open behind the arc, guys. I mean, come on. You got to understand who you're defending. Boozer dishes to Dang. Boozer against Gasol. Barnes against Dang. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew Konjak down the shot. So far in the game for Dang, he's got 11 points and a couple of nice steals, too. It's been an all-around game for him. He has dominated offensively, defensively, all over the court. Yeah, I like the versatility. He's kind of like a potato. He can come mashed or baked, fried or hash. That's good from Dang. And some changes for Chicago. Ashik has checked in for Noah. Gibson comes in for Carlos Boozer. And it's Bogans in for Ronnie Brewer. The Lakers also with a sub. Odom's checked in. And so he makes both from the line. Here's Kobe. He has 38 in the game. Odom back and down. Shot off the screen. And there's Gasol. That's good on the assist by Odom. Ten points for Pau Gasol. There's 154 left here in the third quarter. Rose passes to Gibson. Guarded now by Lamar Odom. Odom is tagged with the reach. That's foul number two for him. Second person. Dang, dang, dang. Here is Bogans. Eight points for him. The dish to Rose. Lock at six. Puts up a three. Rebounded by the Lakers. Blake with it. Outside, Kobe. Pass to Odom. He's covered by Dang. Odom kicks to Gasol. And the Lakers tack on two more. Showing no mercy. They are getting after them at both ends of the floor. Continuing to add to the lead as the minutes tick away. Outside Rose. And there's the feet to Gibson. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Gibson's got his second bucket of the game to go. Lakers leading by 13. Kobe dishes to Gasol. Right side, Gasol. He kicks to Barnes. Gasol passes to Kobe. Here's Odom. That's good. And it's Kobe with the assist. Nine points for Lamar Odom. And everything's falling from the three-point line here in the second half. And guys, you know, one fed into the other. I mean, now they're shooting with great confidence, and they're on a roll. Barnes against Dang. He dishes it to Rose. Over Blake. Offensive rebound. Another shot, and the jumper is on the mark. Rose has got 19 points. Beautiful pass there. Cannot hit. 
And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. You look at Kobe Bryant in this game. I mean, he has been everywhere. Well, we know he can score, so it's not really a huge shock to see him put up these kind of big numbers. And I would think that he most likely will continue to carry on this kind of play into the fourth. We'll see you in just a moment, live here from Chicago. So as we get rolling here in the fourth, let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burke, for the Sprite Spark Report. Doris? Hi, guys. Well, it was the stretch by the Lakers that garners the Sprite Spark today. With each bucket they get, they keep putting this game a little bit further out of reach. You have to be excited with how they look if you're a fan of this basketball team, guys. Thank you, Doris. Everything really clicked for them, Clark, during that run. Yeah, it sure did. I mean, it ignited them offensively. To the point, Clark, where they were really in complete control at that end of the floor. Dang against our test. And here is a Sheik. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. His second person. Over Asik. At the line for the Bulls. One shot. No good there. He's unable to convert on the three-point play. And Fisher kicks to Brown. Fires top of the key. The shot is off. Now Chicago takes it the other way. Here is Watson. Knocked away. Stolen by Artest. He has not done a good job taking care of the ball here tonight. Four turnovers for him. And Bynum backing in. Nails it. And the Lakers lead by 14. Another turnover and another hoop the other way. You know, a lot of the points they've given up, guys, have been the result of turnovers. And when you turn it over, there's no way to set your defense. Better offense will lead to better defense because you do have a chance to get set. Brown gets the reach-in call. Lakers That's his first foul. Shannon Brown. First person of the foul, two seconds. Here is Corver. Guarded by Odom. And an impeded dunk. Boy, looking at that play, I mean, I think he had to be a little confused right there. I mean, the defender had no idea what was happening. Well, you know, Clark, I don't think it looked like there was great communication on the floor. Steve. You're exactly yeah. right. Steve, what do you think of no, that? No, I agree with you, Kevin, but a great job offensively to exploit that defense for the easy basket. Shot clock at six. Brown outside. No good from outside. Got the defender off his feet with the pump fake, but couldn't knock it down. Here's Corver. Blocked. Lakers leading by 12. Our test left side. And that one's good. Here is Watson. Outside Dan. Picked up by our test. Five to shoot. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. So for the Bulls, Joakim Noah, he's checked in for a sheik. Boozer comes in for Luol Dang. And Derek Rose is subbed in for CJ Watson. Paul Gasol's checked in for the Lakers. Here's Gibson. Just four to shoot. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. Oh. 
Here is Corver. Just two to shoot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Lakers ball. Here's Fisher. Back to Gasol. Stolen by Noah. Boy, nice job to get his hand in there and knock that ball loose without fouling. Gasol covering. Can't get it to go. Nice D from Odom. Lakers leading by 14. Now Fisher. He feeds it to Odom. Boozer picks him up. Six on the shot clock. Shot by Odom, no good. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. Stuck with the play, finished it, and now a chance for the three-point play. Good work that time, Steve. I mean, he wheeled that one into the basket. Derrick Rose, the reigning MVP, didn't take his foot off the gas pedal in last year's playoffs. He continued his outstanding play. And Rose, no good on that one. Well, back to Rose in the playoffs, Clark, it seemed like each round, teams would try and find ways to slow him down. Well, yeah, Kevin, he had an answer for everybody except LeBron James. When Miami put LeBron on him uh, during that Eastern Conference Finals series, uh, there was nothing Rose could do. And so he, he's he's going to go back to the drawing board and, and continue to add to his game. He's He's got to, to continue to work on that outside shot. But, wow, and that was impressive defense by LeBron James. Back to Gibson. Now the pass to Corp. He's covered by Brown. Goes up from the top of the key. That's good on the jump shot. Here's Fisher. Noah against Gasol. Takes it up. Joakim Noah grabs the miss. Now here's Rose. Here is Corver. Deflects the pass and stolen by Fisher. The turnovers have uptick for him. They can't afford to let their concentration lapse here. And Chicago has their hands full guarding against Brown. He's got 10 points, and he's connected on two three-pointers here as well. Well, if his three-point shooting continues, this game will change dramatically because the defense will really have to adapt. That free throw good from Brown. I thought Shannon Brown made so much improvement last season, guys. He scored well, and he worked really hard to improve his weaknesses, which were his ball handling and his outside shooting. So he became much more of a complete player. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Steve, I agree with you in terms of Shannon Brown's improvement, how hard he worked on those weak areas, handling the ball better, working more on his shot. I mean, the physical gifts were always there. Strong, tremendously athletic. I give him a lot of credit for working to make the most of that natural ability that he has.
Passes to Boozer. Odom on him. Boozer kicks to Rose. Lots of room. Again, Chicago. You know, Kevin, his scoring has been one of the few positives they can take away from this game so far. So it's the Lakers now. At one point, they led by 16. Noah against Gasol. Kobe passes to our test. That's good, and it's Kobe with the assist. Seven points for Ron Artest. Tell you what, they haven't exactly been shy about letting it fly from deep here in the second half. You know, Steve, if you have the lead, you can afford to be a little comfortable with the three-point shots. You just don't want to fall too much in love with it. And that one's good. No question about it, guys. He's been one of their best performers today. Here's Fisher. He's covered by Rhodes. Kobe dishes to Gasol. Right side Gasol. Back to Kobe. Five to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Here's Fisher. And there's another one for the Lakers. I think their only hope now, Clark, is to slow him down with a double team. Well, they got to stop the bleeding, put the tourniquet on, and she's been tough to play straight up. Boozer with it. Guarded now by Lamar Odom. From deep rows, Lamar Odom pulls it in. Fisher against Boozer. Kobe against Rose. Our test against Dang. And it's our test missing. Tell you what, it seems like all it takes is just a little bit of defense for him to be tentative on those layup attempts. Brewer with the ball. Picked up by our test. Brewer with the ball. From downtown. And yes, sir, that one drops. Probably time to bring an extra defender, change up the defense a little bit. Well, Steve, he's been so good. I think they got to take the ball out of his hands right now. Timeout called the Lakers. Yeah. My whole goal is a poet to be relaxed in orbit. My slow flow is euphoric. It's like a rapping door. Him up. Kobe dishes to Bynum. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Free throw drops for Kobe. He's perfect from the line this time. That's amazing. They have yet to miss a free throw this half. And as calm and collected as they look up there, I'm not sure they'll ever miss one the rest of the way. 
And Boozer backs in. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. It's on Andrew Bynum. Let's take a look at what Boozer's been doing. 15 points, and he's also been picking up some nice assists here and there, too. Well, he's going to have to continue to play this way, Clark, because this offense thrives on his passing ability, and they've got it going right now. That's good from Boozer. Boozer hits them both. Here's Kobe. Clark, they can burn some clock if they want to. Yeah, and maybe buy a little oxygen while they're doing it. <laughs> Fisher up top. And Rose picks him up defensively. Gasol backing down. Poke loose. And the powerful one-handed slam. Oh, I like that finish. Perfect for that possession. Yep, a simple one and jam. That's the way to do it, guys. Rose with the ball. Double team on Rose. Boozer. Dang, dang, dang. He passes to Bogans. Pocket six. Here's Dang. And again, no good by Chicago. Clark, if they want to, they can milk the clock just a little bit here. Hey, Amen. I think that's the best option. Who got Kobe? Kobe against Dang. Can't cash in from the high post. Bulls trail by 11. Rose dishes to Boozer. The jump hook. A nice bounce off the right iron and down. Boozer's got 12 points here in the second half. 110 left here in the fourth quarter. Gasol with it. Outside Odom. Moving the ball. Fisher dishes to Kobe. And Rose picks him up defensively. Heads up play, preventing the easy lay-in. Yeah, I like that. I mean, he saw it was a free layup, didn't want to give that up. So he fouled him to force free throw. Shooting for Los Angeles. Kobe Bryant. Two shots. Good on the first, and that will push the lead to double digits. And Kobe drops them both. Here's Rose. 55 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Left side Rose. And stolen by Fisher. Solo break. The finish all alone. Oh, took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. But instead, he'll shoot free throws. The free throw drops for Kobe. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Well, Kev, he may have given him just enough to make this a done deal. Gets it to go. Well, they probably needed more of this earlier, guys. I don't think there's enough time left to get back into the game. Guys, this is really a case of, of too little, too late, but at least it yeah, gives them something to work really. off of going into the next game. Chicago calls timeout. They're losing by 10. There's 31 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Guys, what do you think? Has pretty much been put out of reach, but they're not giving up. You know what? I'm not sure. I think at some point you've got to concede and save your energy. Never And here are the Bulls now, trailing by 10. You got it! Oh, hit that! It's tipped and stolen by Fisher. 
Tough entry pass there. Too much traffic in the lane. So it's the Lakers taking care of business here. Not much to be critical of with this win, Clark. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play. They showed up to give great effort and to win, and they did both. Well, that'll do it. For Doris Burke, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long. We'll see you next time. And as we leave, we give you our Jordan player of the game, Kobe Bryant.